Hello dear members and welcome to a new edition of Asia Global News. On October 24, in the presence of True Mother, the Chan Yung Kuk ceremony was held celebrating the victory of the events marking the ninth anniversary of True Father Song Hwa. The event was an opportunity to reaffirm everyone's determination and commitment to make every effort in the second half of the year to lay a solid foundation for the establishment of a heavily unified Korea. In this edition of Asia Global News, we will report extensively on this event and share some news of the providence around the world. The special gathering to celebrate the victorious event marking the ninth anniversary of the Holy Ascension of True Father was held in strict compliance with the government's quarantine guidelines. It was held at the Chonshim Peace World Center and online with leaders and blessed families joining from all over the world. The entrance of the flag bearers raised the curtain for the victory celebration. And Dr. Yun Yong-ho, Director of International Headquarters, started the event with the opening declaration. Afterwards, Ms. McDavid Wonju gave the opening speech in which she gave a brief explanation of the victory celebration. Today, in his special report, Dr. Yoon Yong-ho recalled that this gathering was to celebrate the success of the ninth anniversary events of True Father Song Hwa and emphasized that it was an opportunity to reaffirm everyone's commitment and determination to make a new beginning. He also talked about his visit to Cambodia where he met with Prime Minister Hussein as part of the mission entrusted to him by True Mother and then presented a vision to lay the solid foundation of the next six months to realize a heavily unified Korea. 어머님은 이번 성화 9주년을 8월 21일부터 30여 개의 행사를 통해서 진행을 하셨습니다. 천일국 경배 기념식, 참 아버님 성화절을 기점으로 한이 내용이 신통일한국 기반 조성을 완전히 이루겠다라는 출정식이었고요. 외적 기반은 9월 10일 싱크탱크 2022 희망전진 대회를 통해서 외적으로 출정을 하신 거고요. 그리고 내적으로는 천보 대축제, 10월 10일 이 천보 대축제를 통해 참가정 운동과 두익 통일 운동을 중심으로 해서 신통일 한국을 이루시겠다 결의하셨다고 봅니다. 이두 축이 한반도 평화 서밋과 백만 구국 구세 대회로 연결될 것이라 확신합니다. 존경하는 우리 천일국의 지도자 축복 가정 여러분, 제가 드리고 싶은 말씀은 딱 하나입니다. 어머님께서 불가능한 것도 믿고 나아가면 이루어진다라고 하셨습니다. 저는 그걸 믿고 나아갑니다. 나와 함께 하나 돼서 나아간다면. 신통일 세계를 위한 신통일 한국이 반드시 이루어지고 반드시 안착되고 반드시 꽃피다고 확신하신다라고 말씀하십니다. 자서전 마지막 달라 기억나십니까? 그 옛날 조원모 할머니와 우리 대모님께서는 태극기를 꺼냈다면 이제 나는 철국 깃발을 가슴에 품고 꺼낸 상태에서 한국뿐만 아니라 전 세계가 하나님을 모시고 하나님 하나님을 하늘 부모님으로 모시고 참 부모님을 모시고 하늘 부모님 아래 천주 대가족의 그 이상과 비전이 이루어지실 것이라고 믿고 나는 나아가겠다라는 어머님의 그 간절한 염원을 
우리가 가슴에 품고 나아간다면 2022년 신통이라 하고 2027년 통 신통의 세계가 저는 반드시 이루어질 것이라 믿습니다 조국이여 밝아오라 사생열단 전력두국 실천공에 여러분 동의하신다면 우리의 결의와 결단을 담아 참 어머니께 큰 감사와 송영의 흡수를 올려주시면 좋겠습니다 This was followed by an artistic performance by the Little Angels, global ambassadors of heart and culture. With their talent, they contributed to the success of the various events during the ninth anniversary of True Father s a n h u a Their songs were full of sweetness and very pleasant to the ears. After that, True Mother made her entrance. <laughs> 참 부모님께 여러분 다시 한번 뜨거운 감사의 박수를 올려주시면 좋겠습니다. 안녕하세요. t r u e Mother also received precious gifts containing the sincere devotion of all, including the guide Chon Shim Chon Bu, compiled with her consent. She then spoke precious words of blessing, expressing her desire to see the efforts for the Providence bear fruit. Hangbokanadimida. 하늘은 얼마나 얼마나 기다리고 기다려 나오셨는가를 우리는 압니다. 내일을 희망으로 바라볼 수 있는 환경권을 만들기까지 하늘의 수고는 이루 말할 수 없었습니다. 하늘도 땅도 감동할 수밖에 없는 참 부모의 수고의 노정은 이제 아시아 태평양 문명권 시대를 출발하면서 세계 여러 나라들이 참 부모와 함께 진정한 평화 세계로 갈수 있는 길을 함께 찾아 나가고 있는 것입니다. 이 나라가 하늘을 모시는 나라가 될수 있도록 그 꼭지를 따는 데 있어서 여러분들이 남은 6개월 동안에 하늘을 믿고 독생녀 참 어머니와 하나 돼서 책임을 하는 자리에 나아가게 될때 하늘은 우리와 함께 하시며 우리의 꿈이 하늘 부모님의 꿈이 이루어지는 그날이 됨을 명심하고 최선을 다해 주기를 부탁합니다. t r n i n g o o k leaders then congratulated to parents through messages that expressed their nostalgia as well as their firm determination to contribute to the providence. There was also a performance by the North Korean art group Pektu Haran and the famous Korean singer 
Cho Han Jo, who performed the song Komapso. Afterwards, the youth of IOSP and the cadets of UPA, the hope of tomorrow for a heavily unified world, offered a beautiful song that brought back memories of True Father to all. John Kumunim, Sungnire, Kyonadurimnida! Joyga, Shin Tong and Hanguge, Yurge Sumida! Uriye, Suanin, Tongi, Tongi, Tongi! True Mother then joined the youth, the future generations of Chonaguk on stage to sing the Song of Unity, which expressed everyone's longing for a heavily unified Korea. The five regional coaches of Korea then led the three shells of Okmanse to conclude the ceremony, reiterating their strong commitment to achieve great success at the Korean Peninsula Peace Summit and the One Million People Salvation Rally. In Ivory Coast, a first Sunday service was held with the tribe members of a Chombo family. Eighty-five people, including peace ambassadors, attended the service during which the first second-generation child from the tribe was presented. In addition, several school kids were distributed to the village children to support them in their studies. The participants of the service expressed their deep appreciation to the family federation and through parents. In Benin, a Chonba family held a seven-day Divine Principle seminar attended by 52 people. The participants pledged to give their best to contribute to the building of a heavily unified world under the guidance of God and true parents. UPF Korea held the fifth forum of heavily unified Korea at the Kim Ku Museum in Seoul in strict compliance with COVID-19 measures. The event recorded the participation of renowned monk Myung Jin and was broadcast live on the internet. Mrs. Munyona, president of UPF Korea, spoke about the why these forums need to be initiated and expressed her desire to see a more just and communication-oriented society. In his presentation, Monk Myonjin said that peace is having another look at one's own point of view. He added that we should open the door of hope and move forward in coexistence and unity. In conclusion, Mr. Lee hyun Yong, Executive Secretary of UPF Korea, presented the vision of heavily unified Korea of True Mother and called on all participants to join the UPF unification movement. In the future, UPF Korea plans to hold this forum every month, inviting civil society leaders. It intends to raise awareness of true parents' ideal of peace among the Korean public through lectures focusing on various topics, including the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula and the construction of an ideal world of peace. The Korea Women's Federation held the Yongnam Area Women's Meeting in Busan City. More than 400 people attended the meeting on-site and online. The event had the slogan, Women's a Peacemaker. It helped define the future direction of the organization through presentations on the image of a good woman, talks on peace initiatives and a Q&A session. Mrs. Julia Moon, International President of the Women's Federation, said that True Mother, guided by her maternal heart, only wants to move forward and is determined to bring change to Korea in the next six months. She even added that there is no alternative to the realization of a heavily unified Korea. On the other hand, a seminar was held by the Global Network for Women for Peace, inviting leaders from Seoul and Incheon area. This event will be repeated in the five regions of Korea consecutively. The theme of this event, attended by 14 women leading different civil institutions, was Her Story. In her welcoming speech, along with a special lecture on culture, President Julia Moon introduced True Mother as a tireless campaigner for inter-Korean reunification and world peace, remarking that no one can reunify Korea for us and that it is our inexcusable
Capable Destiny. In the storytelling session, Her Story, there were presentations that were both spontaneous and frank. The participants developed a sense of unity and mutual sympathy, and during the break exchange business card and provided an opportunity to learn more about the activities, share inspiration and build networks. Through partnerships with women's leaders from outside organizations, the Women's Federation will further assert itself at the forefront towards a heavily unified Korea. UPF Taiwan held a joint seminar and preparatory meeting for the establishment of IAPP National Chapter. The theme of the seminar was development in the Northeast Asia and prospects for economically focused cross-strait relations. It registered the participation of 90 people on site and online. In his opening message, the UPF Taiwan president said that the preparatory meeting of the Taiwan branch of IAPP is a very significant in that it is possible to look to the world and connect with the international community. As for the UPF Japan president, he said that maintaining peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait is undoubtedly one of the biggest concerns in the world today. This was followed by presentations by former Taiwanese Vice President Annette Liu and former U.S. Congressman Dan Burton, followed by Mr. John tek President of the Taiwanese Subregion affiliated with the Japan Family Federation, who gave the closing speech. The participants pledged to work together to contribute to the development of the region and bring a glimmer of hope. A national speech contest in the language of Chanaguk was held in the headquarters of Family Federation of Japan. About 600 people who attend Korean language classes in churches across the country participated in the tournament. 16 of them passed the preliminary stage and presented their speeches in two categories, namely true parent speech and written speech. After the proceedings, a church leader and a member won the grand prizes in the categories of true parent speech and written speech, respectively. This competition was organized to improve Korean language skills as well as to practice the content of daily learning by expressing it through speeches. Efforts will continue to enable all those engaged in the public mission to master the Korean language and pass on its beauty to all members. <music> Reverend Suzuki Shin Kishi, Songhua Ceremony, a chamber couple of the 1800 couple generation, was held at the Kusei Church in Kawasaki City. Reverend Suzuki Sinkishi was the national leader of Egypt, and after serving as a missionary for 23 years, his family was inducted as Chonbo on October 10 this year. In recent years, while battling pancreatic cancer, he has nevertheless been very active, giving sermons at the church services before finally collapsing. And even when he was hospitalized, doctors were amazed at the vitality with which he led his life despite his serious illness. True Mother blessed him with the title Victorious Chonbo and Full Citizens of Chonigok. A representative of the Berea family said that Reverend Suzuki's last words were, Thank you, everyone, and that he expresses deep gratitude to God and true parents. True Mother's cause has been an uninterrupted march to fulfill her promise to True Father and wipe away all the tears we shed after his ascension into heaven. She has thus offered him the fruits of all the victories acquired throughout sacrificial calls. Through this last victory celebration, all the leaders and blessed families have reiterated their firm will and commitment to lay the foundation for the establishment of Heavenly Unified Korea. Therefore, we wish that all the blessed families around the world would completely unite with True Mother so that the great miracles would occur in the course of the Divine Providence. With this word, we close the edition. Thank you for following us and may God bless you.